One of the things I do on my campaign platform is I break down the issues that I'm working on in the district. And it's make America safe, make America educated, and make America prosperous. The very first thing we need to do to ensure we have a great America, have a great state, have a great city, is ensuring that we keep our residents safe. Are you Errol Weber? I am Errol Weber, running for Congress in the 37th Congressional District. Errol Weber running for Congress? Uh, who are you running against? I am running against Karen Bass, who is, ready for this? The chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. Got it. I am the Republican running against the chair of the Congressional Let's Black go. Caucus. She go. has been in her congressional seat for the past decade. And before that, she was in the state assembly for 12 years. So 22 years in Los Angeles politics. Right, right. And uh, these parts of LA, nothing's yeah. changed. Uh, it's decades, got worse. It's got two worse. Two decades you know and nothing's changed. Yeah, yeah that's Come how on. it goes. When Democrats in charge, that's how, that's what, uh -huh. that's what the so, so why is it so hard for blacks to vote against the Democrat candidates? There are a number of reasons, and I'm going to explain a couple yes, of them. Sir. You ready Great. for this? I went polling folks all across the 37th district, all across the 34th and 33rd district, asking them basic questions like, sir, can you come here for a second? Do you know who your congressperson is? Do you know who your state assembly member is? Do you know who your state senator is? Do you know who the mayor of Los Angeles is? Do you know who the governor is? Do you know who the lieutenant governor is? Do you know who the attorney general of California is? Do you know who the Los Angeles County Sheriff is? Did, did you vote in the last election? Okay. Well, I found that when I polled folks and I asked them, do they know who their congressperson is? Many times they don't, they, they say they don't know who their congressperson is. Nine out of 10 people don't know who their congressperson is. And then I went to an event last year called Taste of Soul. It was in the middle of Crenshaw Boulevard. Thousands of people descended on Crenshaw Boulevard for food and entertainment and all that. And I stood in front of Karen Bass's tent at Taste of Soul. I stood in front of her tent and asked people, do you know who mm -hmm. your congressperson mm -hmm. is? Nope. And they said no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They said no. <laughs> and then I followed up and I asked them, did you vote in the last election? They said yes. What? We have widespread voter ignorance going on in this district. Yeah. And when you have when you have a group of people who have never been educated about America's history, have never been educated about civics, and if they were their federal revisionist history, then you end up with a whole bunch of people who the only thing they can vote on is emotional stimuli from folks who say that Republicans are the devil. And if that's all you hear over and over again and they don't learn the truth and they don't learn the Constitution, then you're just gonna continue to see people vote Democrat by default, D, 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 right all the way down, and then nothing will change. Oh no, I'm out of work. Let me go vote Democrat again. Right. No. Right. Like, oh my God, my kids are learning all kinds of crazy stuff in school. Oh, let me vote Democrat again. Okay. Why? Like, right. no. Right. Like, <laughs> okay, so how commonplace is the notion that the black community doesn't want to elect Republicans who will cut uh, uh, welfare because so many black families rely on that for their grandchildren and their, their da single family daughters. I love that single, question. Single I love that question. I have an answer to that question. We as Americans cannot continue down this path of thinking it's okay to live off the government teat. We also need to recognize that we need to exercise our individual liberty and on our own volition make a life for ourselves. Yes, sir. But we also need to recognize that this starts with education. Of course, there are folks who are already out of high school, already out of college, and they need uh, skills training as to how to, uh, well, on being able to get higher paying work instead of thinking that a $14 or $15 an hour job is good enough. I don't believe minimum wage jobs are good enough. I believe that we are better than that and we deserve better than that. And part of that begins with education. Part of my campaign platform involves teaching young kids in middle school about financial literacy and ensuring that they learn a skilled trade in middle school so that they leave middle school already trained in one skill and then entering high school and learning investing, learning how to start a business, and also learning yet another trade. So by the time you end high school, 
you already know two trades, you know financial literacy, you know investing, you know how to start a business, and you know of the resources that you can take advantage of in our state to make the life that you want for yourself so you don't have to depend on the government for your for welfare. Go on and preach, brother. Go on and preach, brother. Tell the true shame the daggone devil what it is, man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>